In this video, the master instructors from Best Incorporated will demonstrate the installation of a dual inline package integrated circuit component. These components are commonly known as DIP components. The name dual inline package stems from the lead configuration of the component. It has two rows of leads that are soldered into through holes on the circuit board. Notice that each lead has a formed standoff. This standoff should be in contact with the surface of the circuit board when the component is installed. For this installation, the instructor will be using an insertion tool to hold the leads in the correct position when inserted into the circuit board. After the work area has been cleaned, install the component into the insertion tool. Align the leads of the component with the through holes on the circuit board. Gently press the top of the insertion tool to insert the leads into the circuit board. Hold the component in place as the board is inverted. It is recommended that the diagonal corner leads are bent partially outward to aid in holding the component in place during soldering. Apply flux to all the leads and lands that will be soldered. Begin soldering to one corner lead. Place the solder against the base of the lead. Apply the soldering iron tip to the solder, lead, and land. Contacting all three will heat all areas that need to be soldered. Apply additional solder as needed to the side of the lead that is opposite to where the iron tip has been placed. Skip the lead immediately next to the lead that has just been soldered and solder every other lead. This skipping pattern avoids excess heat buildup in the component or the circuit board. Continue the skipping pattern until all leads have been soldered. Use caution when adding additional solder to a connection. Excess solder will quickly flow to the opposite side of the assembly. Solder that touches the dip component body is a defect condition which will require correction. Clean both sides of the assembly with an appropriate solvent and lint-free cloth. Inspect the assembly according to the IPCA 610 document. The IPCA 610 groups electronic assemblies into three classes. These classes are based on the intended end-use environment for the assembly. Class 1, General Electronic Products, are those where the major requirement is that the assembly is functional. Class 2, Dedicated Service Products, are assemblies where continued performance and extended life are desired, but not critical. Typically, the end-use environment would not cause failures. Class 3, High performance or harsh environment products are assemblies in which high performance and performance on demand are critical. Downtime cannot be tolerated or the extreme environment may be uncommonly harsh. On a class 3 assembly, the IPCA 610 states that the component should be inserted so that the standoffs of all leads are in contact with the land. The lead must be discernible in the completed solder connection. Discernible means that at least the outline of the lead can be seen in the finished connection. As a maximum, the lead exiting the plated through hole cannot be more than 1.5 millimeters from the board surface. The solder must fill at least 75% of the plated through hole for all leads. On the solder source side, that is the side of the board to which the solder is applied, the surface of the annular ring, or the land, must be 75% covered with wetted solder. Looking into the hole between the lead and the edge of the hole, there must be at least 330 degrees of wetted solder. On the solder destination side, the side of the board to which the solder flows, there does not need to be any solder on the land surface. Between the lead and the edge of the barrel, as viewed from the solder destination side, there must be a minimum of 270 degrees wetted around the lead and barrel. Visit and follow us on our YouTube channel, Soldering Geek, for more videos. For training classes, supplies, and more, visit our website, www.solder.net.